Okay guys, so a lot of videos on the reason you're getting water in your Ram. This is a 2014 Ram 1500 Express. This is getting water pulled up in a little tool storage area under the seats. Wasn't the third brake light. I took off this piece and noticed water was coming out of these vents and these vents as you can see are missing flaps there's a couple here but all these flaps are missing the one thing i didn't see on all these videos that i've watched was how to remove these and how to put the new ones in you don't have to unbolt your bed you don't have to pull them up between the bed and the back of the truck you can do it all from inside i'm going to try to do it with one hand to remove these just push these tabs in up top there's a couple tabs in the bottom Push it in, just turn it a little bit once you're in. And I don't care about ruining this one because it's done and it's out. So I'm gonna to try to film putting the new one in, but I do need two hands. But if you turn it a little bit, you can get it in without unbolting the bed of your truck or trying to pull it up between the bed and the back wall of your cab. I tried that initially with a string and it's too tight. It's jamming up. I can't get it to come all the way up to this hole. So I just kind of contorted it, moved it around a little bit and I put it in, the new one in, kind of jimmying it through. And the new one's over here. I can't see with my seat belt, but that's the new one. Fits really tight, has a good seal. It's about to rain at my house, so this is gonna be a good test. Uh, I'll try to show you putting the new one in, but again, with one hand, it's going to be tough. Okay, so I got the new vent. I tied a string to it in case it fell in a little bit. It'd be easier to pull it back up. Um, as you can see, it tells you which is the top and up. These flaps open up to the outside. You can see the rubber seal and the clips with the rubber seal. So I'm gonna to try to contort it, put it in. I kind of go at an angle. And you don't really mess the seal up because the seal is protected by the outer plastic. You can see the seals behind it. So I really can't do this with one hand. So I'm just gonna explain it to you. This is how I'm doing it. I'm just kind of moving around with two hands, get it just right, pull it back in tight till those clips snap in. It's really easy. The other one took me five seconds. All done. And the thing to note too is the string helps you pull it in tight to snap it in. Something to grab onto to get those upper tabs to lock in. It's nice and tight. Didn't have to remove the bed. Didn't mess the seal up. Good to go.